Hi students, good morning. Welcome back to the next video of English Literature class. How are you? Hope you are fine there. Well, it's time to start today's class. Are you ready to start today's class? Okay, before starting our class, as usual, let's have a silent prayer. So students, do you remember what we have studied in the last class? Yes, we started a new story from the second unit and it's time to recall what we have studied in the last class. So watch and listen carefully. Here we go. Last class, we started the story. Yes, can you remember the title of the story? Yes, how the dog found himself a new master. So the title of the story is how the dog found himself a new master. In this story, we found that how the dog became a pet of a master. In the ancient times, the dogs are like wolves. They live in their full freedom. But one day, a dog thought that it's very easy to, easy to live under a master because that master will protect him from all the animals who are stronger than him and he will get enough food. So what happened next? Yes, our dog started to search for a master. We will discuss the rest of the story in today's class. So here we go. He walked and walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. Where are you going dog? The wolf asked. I am looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master wolf? I don't see why not, the wolf said. And this agreed upon the two of them went on together. They walked and they walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed, darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest. The dog was much surprised. What's come over you, master? He asked. What has frightened you so? Can you see? There is a bear out there and he might eat up both of us, you and me. So we are going to discuss these paragraphs for today's class. Before moving to the explanation of these paragraphs, let's have a look at the new words and its meanings. So the first word is kinsman. So actually kinsman was an old fashioned usage and kinsman means yes, kinsman means a relative. Next word is fears. What do you mean by fears? Yes, fears means violent or frightening. And the next word is take up service with. It means become the servant of. Next word is darted. What do you mean by darted? Yes, moved quickly or suddenly. And the final word is come over you, affected you. So these are the new words and its meanings. I hope you understood the meanings. So now it's time to get back to the explanation of the paragraphs. So here we go. He walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. Already we found that the dog started to search for his new master. Then he found one of his kinsmen. Kinsman means relatives. One of his relatives, who was that relative? Yes, a big wolf. And the big wolf was actually appearing as a violent or frightened creature. Then what happened next? Let's see, where are you going dog? The wolf asked. When the wolf met the dog, the wolf asked a question. What was the question? Yes, where are you going dog? Then the dog replied that, I'm looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master wolf? Then our dog revealed the aim of his search. What was his aim of search? Yes, he 
he was searching for a master and he requested the wolf that would you like to be my master then what did the wolf say let's see i don't see why not the wolf said and this agreed upon the two of them went on together quickly the wolf accepted the request that means the wolf became the master of the dog then they started walking together they walked and they walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose sniffed darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest the dog was much surprised so after becoming the master of the dog the wolf and the dog together walked towards the forest after a few times suddenly the wolf started to sniff lifted his nose and he darted quickly that means yes moved quickly into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest our dog was actually surprised he was thinking about the sudden act of the wolf he believed that the wolf is stronger than anyone but this time the wolf was actually afraid of someone who's that let's see what's come over you master he asked what has frightened you so the dog asked the wolf that what happened to you what affected you why you are so scared then the wolf replied that can't you see there is a bear out there and he might eat up both of us you and me and the wolf revealed that he was afraid of the bear do you know who is a bear yes he is one of the giant animals and now the wolf was actually afraid of bear that's why the wolf started to sniff and darted off the path and crept into the bushes of the forest what happened next we will discuss the rest of the story in next class so before winding up the class let's have a look at the questions and answers so these are the two questions from your textbook just watch and listen discuss these questions in pairs before and write the answers so the first question why did the dog feel the need for a master second question is who did he first choose as his master and there is another part also why did he leave that master so actually this was a pair work but you know due to covid we couldn't make it happen so we are doing it ourselves and now it's time to discuss the questions and answers so the first question why did the dog feel the need for a master the beginning of the story itself we could get the idea so let's have a look at the answer the dog felt the need for a master because he was tired of wandering about alone looking for food and getting frightened by those who were stronger than him therefore he decided to serve someone who was stronger than he so what was the reason yes we already found that the hero of this story the dog was actually lazy so he was tired of wandering about alone looking for food and getting frightened by those who were stronger than him thus he decided to find a new master okay i hope you got the idea you have to write these questions and answers in your notebook i hope you got your no notebook if you didn't get your notebook it's not an issue uh, just write it down in your rough book okay so next question who did he first choose as his master it's a simple question and already you got the answer let's check the answer so the answer is yes he chose a big wolf as his master so who was the new master yes a big wolf he chose a big wolf as his 
master and uh, you know uh, there was another part for this question but we will discuss in the next class because the answer for that question will discuss in the next class okay so it's time to discuss today's follow up activity so let's discuss today's follow up activity construct sentences by using given words so the given words are service surprise frightened so this is a simple task you have to make use of these words and construct one sentence okay i hope you are doing the follow up activities at your home and some of the students are not sending me back the follow up activities so you have to take care of this and this is all about today's class i hope you got the idea of this class we will discuss the rest of the story in the next class thanks for watching we will see you in the next class stay safe at your home thank you